Here we are. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had a mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Some fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. And said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always the pig. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tink, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce, he's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting! Belle's daddy was a big friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie, ah! he was scared. It's only a toy spider. Got a toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. We've been together since we were. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willie came too. Hello. Hello. I love my granny. Come on, let's go. What will we have? We'll have some tea, will we? Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about daddy? 
I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take care of Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. I'll see you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a butterfly, the mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. That's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said, that was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. Oh, Tick, darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. We've been guests since we were me. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. You'll see and you'll get a really good view. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. Does he really like chocolate? The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards, toasters, televisions, washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Get 
Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. Can <laughs> <laughs> you manage? I help Mummy put things into the trolley. Oh Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <laughs> Tig. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got my toy spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for daddy to come home. Willie didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right. go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake Come a dad. cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, Oranges and raisins. We need oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped the carrots. And I grated them in a special machine. Daddy grated orange skin. All of it. We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop went the carrots and oranges. Yuck. Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. Want to do another one? I mixed up the mush. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said, just wait and see, said Daddy. 
flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Egg. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. <laughs> the trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick. Tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I helped Daddy do the washing up. OK. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right, we, we waited again for the cake right, to cool. Willie we played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider! Ah, oh, you got me! It's only a toy spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. You made it. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willie. We beat guesses. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willie came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise, an angel, should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel! Has a way! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. 
And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure play things. We made lots of noise in the wood. There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shock. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Willy. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together since we were wee.